Um, and the one culture I suppose I did inadvertently get into, but I didn't think I was, was actually, it was with Graham Linehan. I, 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 um, he was, I, I was asleep. Uh, I was brought into a culture war while I slept. Uh, I was asleep and somebody tweeted to Graham Linehan, why is John Robson still following you? Which, by the way, is a kind of irritating. I got that the other day. Why are you following this problematic person? It's like, you know, I'm like, you know, excuse my language, but like, you know, fuck off, follow Nazi. You know, people follow people for all sorts of reasons. Like, um, we, you know, I, God, I mean, especially people, you know, like me and Louis Theroux, you know, we, we, we go over to the other side, you know, uh -huh. we're interested in people who don't, you know, necessarily agree with the way we... Anyway, um, but while I slept, um, Graham replied, because he thinks you're all, i.e. <clears throat> pro-trans people, he thinks you're all assholes. So I woke up and saw that, and in a flinch, I was at the uh, Hotel Duvan in Edinburgh. It's like ingrained in my mind. And um, and I saw that, and in a flash of anger, I tweeted, you know, I don't think your critics are assholes, and I think you've been acting like a bully. Uh, and I said that because he was really going after a friend of mine who got very upset. Anyway, that was like five, six, seven years ago now. And, you know, his rage towards me continues to this day. Thousands of tweets about me, like thousands. Um, and... So that was a mistake, like I wish I had done. I did say to him afterwards, like I, I regretted saying that publicly to you. I really wish I'd said it in a DM. And he replied, well, I'd have been just as upset if you'd said it in a DM. So <laughs> well, that's kind of comforting that um, he would have gone after me anyway. <laughs> okay, I've got a friend, okay. a former friend, we really don't get on anymore at all, um, who's a brilliant comedy writer, Graham Linehan. Uh, Graham has become subsequently famous for being an extreme gender critical activist. Mm. He basically goes on Twitter every day and goes on for, you know, for, for you know, hundreds, thousands. You know, he's tweeted about me thousands of times. Oh, because, I know, Glenn. Because I... Yep. Yeah. I um, love black now, books too. That's the worst part. I loved black books. Well, that's where I'm going with this, right? Yeah. I've known Graham since we were practically, you know, certainly in our 20s. We've been friends for, for decades. I was in the audience for his first show, Paris. I was in the audience for his second show, Father Ted. His third show, The IT Cloud. Graham, you know, for much of his life was... Uh, a genius, a comedy genius. Now, I think he had some difficult personality traits back then. I remember one time he got really angry with me. Actually, I wrote something in Time Out magazine that he took offence to about him. And he got very angry with me and I, and I had to apologise to him over the phone. So he definitely had that easily wounded side to him all the time. But, you know, but now, you know, his behaviour on Twitter now doesn't mean that he wasn't brilliant for most of his life he was sure. and you know 